Hello everybody and welcome to another fishing reminder video. This is long overdue. I've been wanting to make a review of the Deeper Pro fish finder for quite a while now. As you've seen this one uh, probably in a few of my kayak fishing videos. Uh, I've been using it for almost three years now. Well since ever I bought it I actually wanted to do a quick review on it and never got around to do it so here it is. The reason that I bought a deeper fish finder is I wanted to have something portable because I fish in all sorts of different environments and in different ways. I fish land-based, I fish off kayaks, I fish off boats sometimes and I also fish off my paddle board. So I wanted to have a fish finder that works in all those scenarios so I don't have to install a fish finder on each of my boats or whatever I use. And I also wanted to have something space saving. And I can put that in my travel bags when I go overseas and all this kind of stuff. So that's the reason why I bought it. And uh, just to mention quickly, I'm not affiliated with Deeper. I didn't get this Deeper for free or anything. I bought that with my own money. And uh, so this is just a review on what I think about the Deeper really. Yeah, so obviously uh, the advantage of the Deeper Pro is that it's a portable fish finder and uh, uh, you know as, as other portable fish finders as well it's really cool that you can take them with you wherever you want you don't need any extra screen because it connects to your phone via Wi-Fi and you use your phone as your screen that also means that the app on your phone gets updated quite frequently with new features and so on for me personally I, I think the main advantage is that I can travel around with this Deeper. So how the Deeper actually works, it's pretty simple really. So it's a waterproof case. And if you take the cover off, inside there's just a micro USB plug. You can plug, in, you can plug it in anywhere and uh, charge it up in about two hours or so. Uh, and then it will last three, four hours out on the water with that one charge. You can also recharge it with a portable battery pack. So once you're done charging it, you just line it up and uh, screw that back together. It shows you when it's waterproof. You have different attachment points on the top here and there's little screws. Attach just a rope with a carabine to clip that to my kayak seat. And depending uh, how you're going to use it, you can attach that to either one of those three attachment points here. And uh, once you chuck it in the water, it's got some sensors here and it will turn on automatically once it hits the water. The next step is you just connect that to your phone. I'll show you that later on out on the kayak on the water, what the app actually looks like. And uh, yeah, off you go. Right here, we're out in the water now. I'm just gonna chuck my de deeper here, just over the edge. Bang, and uh, there it goes. Just gonna let that bob along while I kayak, and then all I need to do is turn on my app here, and uh, off we go. Deeper app, and it will connect automatically. And here we start getting our reading. So yeah, that's pretty good. So I'm just gonna cruise around the edge and see if I can find any fish today. Oh, and uh, you connect it, of course, to your phone uh, via Wi-Fi. Wi the earlier models, they were connected uh, via Bluetooth and that didn't work so well through the water. Wi-Fi models, they work pretty good. They got a connection distance of about 100 meters or something like that. And I've never lost connection uh, between the deeper and my phone while I've been using it. It's got a small battery and the battery, once fully charged, will only last you for about 3-4 hours out on the water. For me it's enough usually because I don't fish for more than 2 hours, you know, I fish during the major or minor fishing times. For that it's perfect. Uh, once the battery runs, runs out on my deeper I know it's time to pack up. But yeah, if you're after something with a very long battery life, that's not for you. I would say three to four hours max. You can, however, while when you're out fishing, you can actually uh, set it to sleep on your phone. So if you don't, if you over on fishing spot and you're fishing along and you got 
you got some fish biting, you can actually put it on sleep and then switch it on again when you're scouting out the area later on. So one thing I don't like about the app is that it doesn't that it only works in landscape mode but not in portrait mode. So some of the phone holders uh, that you can get uh, for a kayak or so, they only let you put your mount your phone in portrait mode and I wish the app would um, would work for that then you wouldn't have to, you know, look around with your head like that to actually read the fish finder. It's not a huge problem but yeah that's one thing I, I would like to see improved there. Other than that, the app is pretty cool. It you know shows you everything what, what another fish finder does too. It shows you the depth, the bottom structure. Uh, it can detect fish. A cool feature is the fish alarm, which I use a lot when I scout out a new area uh, with my kayak. Had a bit of a cruise around the bay, but all the schools seem to be hanging around in that same spot here. Bit of a sign right here. I love this beeping of, uh, of my deeper fish find uh, sort of. Beep, 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 beep. It always adds to the excitement of uh, finding some fish. Some people would probably keep small snapper like this. Don't keep all the small ones, right? So, one thing I really like about the Deeper Pro are the bathymetric maps. So let's have a look what that is. Deeper app. So let's have a look at the latest map. Um, I recorded one not too long ago and I was out uh, kayak fishing and had a look at the Navionics uh, website and noticed that in the area I wanted to fish there's an underwater reef. Um, so I wanted to go there with my Deeper and map that out. So you can see here that's where I started, red arrow and I pedal towards the uh, reef and here's the reef and here on that uh, right side I can scroll through my recording so you can see my kayak moving around here so basically once I got to this reef here you can see how I pedal along here and uh, the reef starts up here and uh, I pedal right over this reef come down on the other side and you can actually see that there are some fish arcs here so as expected the fish will be sitting uh, just past the drop off drop off and hiding there so I kept pedaling along with my kayak and sort of circling around this reef to map this out and this is basically what a bathymetric map is here a uh, map of the seafloor and uh, later on when I go pedaling uh, or kayaking again in the same area this map will automatically come up again and I can see which areas I've already mapped out. So yeah, I kind of like this feature, these bathymetric maps. You can always come back and look where the fish were holding and what the area looks like and pedal back to exact the same spot where you have mapped out an area before. And another really cool feature is that you can look at those maps on the computer. Let me show you what that looks like. Alright, so once you go back to your computer after you've been out in the session, Deeper will automatically synchronize your recordings with the cloud and you can go to your computer and then look at your trip. How cool is that? So as you can see here, I've done a few trips, so it shows me a summary here and I can uh, look at my trips by dates and so on. And uh, this is one of the trips I did here in each of those little ship icons here they represent one recording and uh, it shows me the duration and the date when I was there and it shows shows me those bathymetric maps so the depth shot I can zoom into that have a closer look uh, how I went around the point and so on and then if I click on one of those icons it will bring up the trip and when I bring up a previous trip then I can just go in here and I can choose a speed a replay speed and I can actually replay my trip here and I can see where I went and uh, yeah, I can use the bigger screen here to look at the actual trip that I had and maybe see what I uh, might have overlooked while I was out fishing. So I just wanted to show you that quickly and uh, yeah, something nice to play around with when you have a deeper. Yeah, so that's, that's about it to the app. It's a nice fish finder app and I, I'm quite happy with it. 
of the limitations of the Depo is the depth range. Unfortunately, this uh, Depo Pro uh, can go to uh, only to 50 meter depth, which works for most cases uh, for me when I'm kayak fishing. I've only or ever encountered like two situations where I reached the limit. But the new Depo's, the Depo Chirp, uh, they can go down to up to 100 meters. So. For a new depot, you probably get it the sherp anyway, and then you you get this uh, better depth range. And then also you can't go too shallow. So if the water is only a meter deep or so, then it won't scan. But you know, you don't really need to scan in that shallow water anyway. Hey Mark, do you have the depot on you? I just want to know how deep is the this part of the lake. So to install this deeper onto a kayak or boat is really simple. You can either get um, an accessory from, from uh, deeper, which is like a flexible arm, but I just uh, attach a rope and a carabine and I just clip that carabine onto my kayak seat, chuck the deeper over the side of the kayak and uh, let it bob along and that works pretty good for me. So simple and easy, cheap way to do it and I haven't had any issues with that. On the pedal board uh, I do the same. I just clip that to the front of the pedal board and just let that bob along the side of the pedal board just attached to that string. What I usually do with my phone on the pedal board is I just uh, use a waterproof casing to the phone and I clip it onto my tackle box so it can't fall off the pedal board. Easy as and uh, I can just leave it here while I'm pedaling and see what's going on with my deep and underneath me. So that works really good. So the Deeper Pro is not like super cheap. I paid about, um, I got it on special, I think uh, it was a couple of years ago. So I think I paid about 200 something US dollars for it. So it's, it's in the price range like uh, other you know, fish, fish finders, like other budget fish finders. Yeah, so it's not super cheap. And um, the biggest problem is that, you know, uh, the battery, like a rechargeable battery, always has a certain lifespan. And that's maybe some cost that comes up uh, later on after the warranty has finished that you might have to replace the battery. Mine is still lasting all right after a few years, but, um, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a rechargeable battery, so. That's another cost that you gotta have to think about. So my biggest problem with the deeper is basically the battery. Not like the battery once it's charged, once I'm out in the water, but the problem is that when I charge it up two days before I want to use it, for example, uh, it's losing the charge. So I really have to charge it up just before I want to use it. It will work while I use it, but if I forget to charge it up, well, I charged it up a week before I'm actually heading out and I'm sort of expecting that it might be fully charged and it isn't. So for some reason that deeper just runs down its battery so it must be you know, working while it's actually disconnected from everything, which it shouldn't, but that's one of the problems I'm having with it. I don't know why it does that, shouldn't do it, but yeah, that's, that's a problem. Oh, yeah, another, another problem I had uh, with my old phone on the kayak from the UV light and from the long hours on the kayak and my phone being in the phone holder, the actual screen of the deep pipe burns, burned itself onto the phone screen. I mean, it's not a problem with the deeper, but it is a problem with using your phone as a screen on your kayak in bright sunlight. So if you do that, uh, from what I've learned now, it's better to use a, some sort of shade over your phone so that um, that you don't have uh, the bright sun on your phone all day and you, your screen might get damaged. So yeah, I think I would definitely buy the uh, Deeper again, the next version, the Deeper Chirp. I would buy that one if I would only be fishing off my kayak uh, and nothing else. I would uh, install a different fish finder. I would actually install uh, one that uh, works, you know, that, that works off an external battery like a proper kayak fish finder or boat fish finder just because it would work longer but because I fish different styles and I travel a lot for me the Deeper Pro is still the best option to have one fish finder that's versatile enough to do everything I want 
uh, without me having to buy multiple fish finders for each purpose. Alright guys, so that's it pretty much. Uh, I hope you enjoyed my review of the Deeper Pro Fish Finder. As I said, I kind of like it. It's pretty good for my purpose and I hope in this review you got something out of it to make up your mind if, you, if that might be for you as well or not. Okay, so we'll see you in the next video. And of course, as always, don't forget to check us out at fishingreminder.com. At fishingreminder.com we predict the best buy times for you and it works really good worldwide any location you are at you can find the best bite times tight times fishing weather and all this kind of stuff so check it out head over there it will help you to catch more fish go oh you start with the tennis too long <laughs> start. Deeper Pro.